Hey guys, this is match four of the Shimona Spectacular, the inner geekdom title match after an intermission that they had. We're also back from our break. Uh, and yeah, this is going to be uh, the inner geekdom title match between Mike Kalinowski and Kevin Smets. Uh, yeah, that's, I, I cannot wait to see this thing. Uh, I do want to quickly say, um, Apparently, Christina and Mark had been talking for a little bit, uh, but their mic were, uh, mics were muted, so we skipped to the point where they were unmuted and we can actually hear them. Uh, so I'm sorry that we couldn't hear anything before that. Um, anyway, uh, what you got? I don't know. It's one of those cases when I'll understand who I'm pulling for during the match. Uh -huh. I love both Smiths. I like uh, both Mike. I don't, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Yeah, this is going I'll to be... I'll let you know during the match. <laughs> yeah, this is a very difficult one to predict because uh, they have faced each other again. And if Smets hadn't uh, choked under the bright lights, as he said, with his five-pointer, that would have been a tie game, and then it would, and then it would have gone to sudden death. And I don't know how long that would have gone on. <laughs> uh, these two are extremely equal to each other. Um, Smets has shown that he can miss a question, uh, so that there's that. Uh, and uh, on the other hand, Mike. Um, yeah, he, he's been studying insanely. Uh, he actually made a post on Facebook asking like, all right, test some, uh, inner geekdom questions on me. And he got so many, right. Even like even some really difficult ones that I'm like, okay, wow, that's really good stuff from him. So it shows he, he cares. He wants the belt. He wants to keep it. And, uh, this is going to be, be a good one. So I will stop talking in three, two, one play division to me it's it's very reminiscent of what the old wwf intercontinental division was back now in like the late wrestling. 80s it was but it's like there has been some just amazing competitors to come through this division who have legitimized it i mean you look at someone like uh jason inman who did what he did mara kanapa oh, uh, and how can you yeah. forget about the legend rachel the crusher cushion yes yeah. uh so where she what she did for the division and the way that it legitimized it and the battles that she had with the current champion, Mike Kalinowski. Now, Mike's been the champ twice. He lost the belt to Rachel. He won it back from Rachel. He also, in order to get to Rachel, beat Kevin Smets in one of the most iconic moments now in Showdown. <coughs> Tell. Yeah. Oh God, it was so close. Just I, oh, I didn't say it. Oh, I didn't God. say it. Yeah. I was just there. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, hey, I can talk about it because it happened. It happened. It's one of those things where like we're announcing it and we see the answer. He said the wrong name and I, we just go back and forth. Like I can't believe he, <coughs> there's no way right. he knows this answer and it just he couldn't get it from his brain to his mouth and into our eardrums <laughs> in one piece. But yeah. What he has done though. Kevin Smets has been. Mark had some Red Bull during in intermission. <laughs> He's already competed oh, Marcus over infinite five energy. times in the inner geek. Inter he is four and one, and He's worn a different hoodie in every one of those matches. Does he have a sixth hoodie here? That's right. And now, I mean, he finds himself up against. Um, excuse me, I think he's five and one, and he changed. He just beat Changer to uh, to Dupani, I think it's four and one. Looks to go six oh no, wait, with the life event as well with Adam Lavic. Yeah, it's five and one. These managers need these guys to win too. Because if he loses, if he loses tonight, yeah, he's on the market. Especially if Oyama wins tonight, mm -hmm. then he, imagine the dungeon without Kevin Smith in it. I uh, don't know that there is a dungeon. It, it's just a very lonely Can't jail cell. That's true. That. Well, you guys are you guys know the rancor of that dungeon. Fight here tonight. You know <laughs> what we're ready to see. <laughs> I don't know. Right. This is go. a reference, I guess. When Mike wins, it's it's you right. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, like you get how much it means for him. I mean, that match wasn't that great because Lafayette was just completely destroyed. See? 
title match was awesome though. Against Chandru. And we're not measuring anything anymore. We're not looking ahead. We're not looking past anybody. We're taking it one match at a time. Don't tell Peter, but that belt's coming to me. Something <laughs> <laughs> he has embraced it now. Well done. gonna be <laughs> Can you feel it? Who <laughs> is that? Who is that? How about that? Wow, you talk about hype, Mark. You talk about two guys who really want it. And I don't know if you saw at the Fan Expo, these guys, these guys got into it. I heard, I heard, got I was already it. in the building. I heard that there was some commotion. There was a fracas. There was shoving. There was a whole bunch of things that happened <coughs> to separate them. They are ready. They are both. They have been separated in dressing rooms. It's been crazy. And and then you have corruption also, where Ken Napsack, and I'm very proud of this, um, that Ken had to open his trap the other day, and he was so excited about all the things that he was doing. Ken is now going to be back in the draft next season as a competitor. Is he really? Um, <laughs> yep. In teams and singles. This will be his last match as a manager. Mm. Wow. So if this is something else for people to see. Grace Hancock has now taken over Corruption, and this will be the last match that they do together as a, as a uh, Bonnie and Clyde, if you well, will. Well, it's very interesting because I'm remembering all these great thoughts and times we had in San Diego watching that match, watching Mike win the belt, and he dips uh, his lady, Shannon. That's and right. you just wonder, if Smets wins, is he going to dip Kaiser in the same fashion? Maybe. Maybe so. All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, well, first I ask you, are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm, I had a slice of pie. I'm ready to go. Good. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's right, time for the, for the movie, movie Trivia. trivia. Moda. Five rounds for the Inner Geekdom Championship of the World. 
Introducing first. When it's all your theme. The challenger representing the dungeon led to the ring by John Kaiser, Paul Oyama, and Eric Zipper with a record of five wins, one defeat, and four knockouts. He is Kevin the Smasher! <laughs> Chris was funny in the best. He's <laughs> open now. Got the big round of applause here at Rourke. They like this kid. He's ready. Look at it. Is he going to hype himself out or is he ready to go? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you still got to focus and write down the answers to questions at some point. Maybe over there. <laughs> Take one of those. It's nice. <clears throat> Not working. I find if you keep talking into the mic, it tends to work. No, that's not how it works. Can we just use one of the mics there? Check, check, yeah, check. Yeah, that one works. <laughs> He's found the microphone that works, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's like shopping at Sears. Well? <laughs> the good guys and the bad guys have arrived. <laughs> You know, when I was walking out here with the boys, some dicky dude in the crowd yelled, Hey, Kaiser, go to hell. <clears throat> okay. Well, you know what? No problem. Because the dungeon's got friends in both places. <laughs> High and low. Who's <clears throat> that zipper? You know, I'm real excited to face our opponent tonight. Mikey seatbelts. <laughs> Mikey suspenders. Proud sponsor of Elmer's Glue. Which also just so happens to be his favorite condiment. Next to his own boogers, of course. We all know Kalinowski's a booger eater from way back. Thanks. Led to the ring by his managers, Obi-Wan Jabroni. <laughs> and a woman who runs a slew of illegal tattoo parlors in Eastern Prague. What the? Eastern Prague, oof. Now if I could just get a moment of silence, please. We could all just bow our heads. Ella, show some respect, I'm trying to do a eulogy. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the death of corruption. <laughs> I mean, kind of true. Uh, yeah. Because when the smasher rips that inner geekdom belt right off of Kalinowski's Z Cabarici pants, he goes back to his old job of shooting Colgate commercials. <laughs> Grace has her side hustle. Dealing with most <coughs> the volatile governments. God. And for Knapsack's sake, I really hope Reader's Digest is hiring. Might be time to polish up that LinkedIn <coughs> page. You know, for far too long, corruption's been walking around this league like they're gods. Well, let me tell you the first thing about gods. They're invisible. Whereas monsters, on the other hand, a monster you see coming at you a hundred miles an hour. Okay, now the rank A monster tells you what they want, and they don't stop until they get it. Ain't that so right, crying, smasher? <laughs> Enough chit chat. Not like you, Lee. I've got <laughs> nothing to lose. Oh, KO! Boy. Get your ass out of here. Let's finish this. And his opponent.
led to the ring by his managers, Ken Napsok and Grace Hancock, representing Corruption, and David B. Chance Ellison, with a record of <coughs> six <coughs> wins, four defeats, and two knockouts. He is the two-time and reigning defending <coughs> undisputed <laughs> movie trivia schmodown in our geekdom champion of the world, Mike the Killer <laughs> And technically, it's in the tank. Oh, uh, grab one of those over there. Not that it matters. They're not going to be too many. The, 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 the one Mike's, Mike's. I don't know why they took it away. Mm. That one, Ken. That one, Ken, right there. Ken. Ken. That it's one. That one. <laughs> you need to stay in your corner. Uh, David B., ladies stay and gentlemen. Corner. David B. You stay in your corner. Oh, yeah, you got yourself a rock show because we are the rock stars of the movie <laughs> Coach Moda. And I was in the back listening to Kaiser's Sunday Sermon, 22 minutes and counting, and it's great. <laughs> I enjoy Kaiser. I enjoy Kevin Smets. I know what he brings to this. I know what he does. I believe that they're putting in the effort in the dungeon, but here's the thing. This man over here, this woman over here, and Chance and Shannon, we are what they aspire to be. The Schmodown has changed. What once was, it doesn't look like it is to these folks. They're coming in with their dreams. They're coming in, they're training, they're huffing, and they're puffing. But we're going to blow their house down because we are the legends that built this thing. And we are still who we say we are. We are still who we know we are. And we're here to not just end their dreams. We're here to change what happens now in the Schmodown because it is Mike's destiny <laughs> that this is about today. <laughs> and you can make your sign, smash him, Smets, and that's fun, and you can sell it at Jeff Snyder's garage sale for $2 later. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the truth, and you're all here to learn it. Thank you so much, Ken. Okay. Let's let the adults yeah, talk, huh? <coughs> Excuse me, honey. Mommy's got to talk. Are you guys ready to see Mike do what he does best? What he does all the time? What he has done time after time after time? Is everybody ready to see it happen again? Because this is the show. Corruption is the show. Are you ready for the show? By the way, if, if you're talking about defending the belt, he didn't do that ever. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Here we are again. Here we are again. This man and I, not too long ago, sitting on a stage, and I remember it very well, because every single person and all of you in this room didn't think I could beat him. And I did. So when I beat that man, that was for all the haters out there. Next up, the greatest of all time, Rachel Cushing. We had three matches, two of them in inner geekdom, grueling matches. Again, people didn't think I could beat her. But that wasn't for the haters. That was for corruption. My rider dies from day one. They were there from the beginning. That win was from then. And now here we are, guys. And I just remember just a couple months ago, I was at the top of the hill, king of the mountain. I had you guys eating out of the palm of my <laughs> hand. You couldn't get enough of me. Mikey Three Belts. That was you guys. <laughs> Call me the greatest of all time, player of the year. Every poll, you had me winning. You guys were there for me. You loved me, eating out of the palm of my hand. And then you showed your true colors like you always do. 
your sheep. Because remember Orlando? Anyone remember Orlando? Because I do. I thought I was going to come into that arena. You guys were going to celebrate me, but you didn't. I was disappointed that they lost the belts. You all showed your true colors. I didn't want to find fathers to win that. Who they were, they did. who you wanted to win. Same. You thought of me. That shook me. Because you guys were always there for me, but you weren't there for me anymore. And I thought about it. You know, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm done. I went to the top. You know, I was, you guys were cheering. The Mikey three belts. I believed in that. You know, I was riding high. And then it all collapsed. So with Shannon, we had Inner Geekdom was coming up. I didn't want to pull out my book to study. I tried watching movies. I just quit. I said, I'm not doing it anymore. But then I saw something change. And I realized, I don't do this for you guys. You guys have ignited the monster in me that you've thought before. The heel, you guys are like, Mikey, we want the heel. Mikey, we want the face. I was always doing things for you guys. Well, guess what, guys? I ain't doing this for you guys anymore. I know who you guys are. I know what you are. I know when the wind changes, you will jump ship. Because you're going to love this man right now. You love this man. You love him. You're his hero. And a month from now, when little Mara comes back into this league, you're going to cheer her and you're going to boo him whenever they face off against each other. That's true. I don't do this for you guys. No. My friends, let me say this right now. You are in my house. And you have all worn out your welcome. I mean... No, I'm not going to. No, 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 to, but the, the crowd is going out. to. Because yeah. he is right. The crowd are Kevin. sheep. Come here, Kevin. Mara is going to be a sweetheart. Yeah. It's Mass's dungeon. Mess. So. Inner Geekdom is the house that Kalinowski built, my friend. Look Remember when Kalinowski. Mike was face? I built this league no. to what it is. That's right. I am the reason that Inner Geekdom became the most popular league this entire year. Well, guess what, Kevin? I've always held respect for you. Kevin, I have always held respect for you. <coughs> because you showed respect as competitors. But then today, you came on that stage. You grabbed my partner. You know what, my friend? You fucked up. I don't respect you. We are you not friends. I'm going to take your lifeless, beltless body, toss it back right. to the dungeon with trash mouth there. This is my stage, my friend. Yeah. Get to the match. You guys wanted yeah. the monster? You got him. Here we go. Exactly. Do this. And I thought Kaiser was uh, talking for a long time. How about one more Jesus. hand for David B on the axe? Yeah, making a point. Oh my well, goodness, that was great. The, after, th the uh, thing is, it's I'll not going to matter for shit you, if you don't uh, perform in that inner heat them title match. Kappa instead of corruption. So, that was uh, show what you want. That was that was not oh. appropriate for children. But now Christian, now you don't need luck in this. The managers have mm -hmm. taken their leave. Kaiser I wish you good luck. First got to get arrested on St. Patrick's Day. Right. And now you have Smets and you have Kalinowski, and we all fell in love with both these competitors in San Diego. And Smets's mom was in yeah, attendance there. That's guys. right. Uh, she just tweeted, Me "If Smets too? loses, he is grounded." So a lot is <coughs> here today. After this speech, am right, I so doing? The competitors have sat down, finally, and it is a five-round title match between Kevin, the Smasher, Smets, and the champion Mike, the Killer, Kalinowski. They are ready to go. Mark, how does round number one go this five-round championship match? In round number one, the field of competitors is going to hear ten questions from ten different corners of inner geekdom schmodown know-how. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. Simply write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard in front of you. Give you about 15 seconds to do so. Once we ask you by name to reveal your answer, please show what you wrote to the audience and verbalize your answer into the microphone. Each competitor has three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. You're not sure you heard a question right, you want to buy yourself some time, use the JTE rule. You also each have one challenge, which I'm sure will be used mm. at some point during I'm the sure five round be. escapade. Please don't <coughs> know we don't know any of these. We don't know any of the answers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. So with that, uh, the managers are on that side, sir. You're in our shot. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> Yes. So don't forget who signed some checks, Billy. Don't linger over him. The All right. pressure. So I ask. Yeah. So I ask first the champion. Are you ready? Ask the champion. Are you ready? I am ready. Ask the challenger. Are you ready? For Connor, and for Dollface, I'm ready. <laughs> then let's get ready, ready to showdown. Five rounds. All right. Here we go. First one. First one is in. 
the MCU, the MCU, who has a cameo as the Asgardian actor playing Odin during the Tragedy of Loki theater scene in Thor Ragnarok? Oh, um. uh, a fun side bet here today is which announcer is going to mispronounce something first. Me. I would take you. Uh, you're, you're my horse. Five. Now bring it home. Four. Three. Two. Sam one. Neal. Sam Neal. We'll start with Mike. Sam Neal. Yes. And Kevin. Sam Neal. Yes. Okay. All right. And we're off and running. Your next question comes from a galaxy far, far away, Star Wars. And the question, in episode four, A New Hope, what were one of the descriptions that Luke said about Leia to convince Han that they should rescue her from the detention block on the Death Star? You've seen that film? I did, you know, I was watching that. People always ask me about whether I can compete. I was like, you can compete in Star Wars. Oh, good. Both of them. And I said, you out of your mind? No, 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 no. You don't want that. Three questions right there. Five, four, three, two, one. She's Kevin. rich and powerful. She's rich. rich. Yes. And Mike? Okay. Rich. Yes. <laughs> rich. Okay. Powerful. Listen, if you would rescue her, the reward right. would be. Well, you can imagine. What? Right. Well, Earth. more wealth Earth. than you can imagine. I don't know. Okay, guys, here we go. Name two characters appearing in the Hobbit trilogy that are fathers of characters appearing in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. 20 so, seconds. So you need one. the daddies. You need the daddies in the, the, the prequels, right? Yeah. You need the fathers. I just try to pronounce everything right and forget about what the question, question was about. Uh, all right, here we go. Thanks for that, Kevin. Yeah. All right, so <coughs> name two characters appearing in the Hobbit trilogy that are fathers of characters oh. appearing no, and, in and the you Lord of the Rings trilogy. 20 seconds to answer. Oh, that's right. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Helps my to be fair, technically, <laughs> Elrond is one of them, the but Hobbit. I am not going to write that down because I'm not 100% sure. And five. Four, three, two. Repeat the question. Oh. Mike, okay. Name two characters appearing in the Hobbit trilogy that are fathers mm -hmm. of characters yeah. appearing in yeah. the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Okay. Yeah, wouldn't have, wouldn't have gotten that. No, it's a, it's a toughie. How do you think I'll do in the next one? Uh, terrible. Yeah, they're not good. You know, a lot of words are used to describe our friendship. Yeah. We have a friendship. Five, <laughs> four. I'd say brotherhood. <laughs> Three, two. I don't know if I'd say either. <laughs> Pens down. Gloin is Thranduil. Gloin. Elrond is Toriel. Toriel, Toriel, no. Toriel, no. Toriel, Toriel is not one of them. Uh, Gloin and Thandril. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Nice. G Gimli, son of Gloin, well and Legolas, son of Thranduil. Right. I should have just thought Gimli, son of Gloin. I'm like, the I'm dwarf, like... dude. <laughs> How, what was the first one? The answers that we would have accepted are. Glowing. But how did he have it spelled? What, what did he say? He had. Glowin? He, he had Gloin. 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 He had Gloin. G, G L O I N. Gloin. Yeah. That's the answers are Gloin, yeah. Thrandral, okay, and Elrond. Oh, they do accept okay. Elrond. All right. Uh, all right, next question. Glowin. G L O I N. Glowin. All right. Your next question Gloin. comes yeah. from the world of <coughs> DC films. And your question Who plays Night Owl 2? in Watchmen would be the film that people saw, not the TV series that people loved. You, are you watching? I watched the first episode, loved it. Maybe we should hang uh, out together and watch the rest. All right, five, four, three. This guy never breaks character. Two, one. Pens Patrick down. Wilson. Oh my god! And Patrick Wilson. Yes, Mike. Did you see how fast I just yes. put it down? Yeah. Well done. All right. Smets with a one-point lead oh here God. over Mike as we get into <coughs> the next question. Marvel. Marvel. Who plays Gambit in X-Men Origins Wolverine? Bleh. Remember you charging out of the theater, yeah. loving that movie. That's a false statement. You were like, Wolverine's back! High-fiving strangers, ripped his shirt off. So you did, now you're just a filthy liar. I have it on tape. That's false. Five, four, three, two. One Taylor Kitch. Kitch. Taylor Kitch. Yes. And Kevin. Taylor Kitch. Yes. Okay. Next one. All right. Your next category, gentlemen, comes from the world of mixed bag. Let's reach our hand in there, see what comes out. In the Back to the Future films, what is the name of the device that converts trash into fuel for the DeLorean? Brad you Dillard know? and Frankie Janice are shaking one another right now. <laughs> they're, uh, they're big fans, oh, I yeah. take it. Oh, yeah. You know why they love so much? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. There's, uh, 
Five. I don't like these movies very much. Four. Mm -hmm. Three. Two. Flex one. capacitor. Mr. Fusion. Yes. Okay. And Mike. Got it wrong. Got it wrong. Ooh, Mike misses. Mike misses another Kevin goes up by two. All right. Kevin goes up by two. Kevin has, has not missed. No, he has not. Kevin has not missed. All right. Here we go, guys. All right. Star Trek. Star mm -hmm. Trek. Star Trek. What is the subtitle of the 1984 Star Trek 3? You like this one. I, I, yes, I do. Good for you. And it's not just because it's right there. I in do. And yeah, you like I don't know which one I like. Four, three, two, one. The search for now, Spock. Mike. Is, is it yes. okay that I didn't put out the dust? Yes. Yeah. Okay. See? Yeah, because it's not a one-word title. All right, it's the one right before the whale one. Next question, number eight. Number I don't eight whale one. of ten questions in the world of the DCEU. Blech. The official name of the Suicide Squad goes by what code name? Both these guys writing this down real fast. Remember, you saw this movie. You loved it. You ran out. Yeah, of I liked it a lot. Hugging stranger. It is fluff beyond belief, but it, it's a fun Three movie. Three plants. Five, <laughs> four, multiple plants. Three. You're gonna tell it. Tell it right. Two, one. Pens down. Task Force X. Smets. Task Force X. Yes, and Mike. Task Force X. Yep. Kevin Smets though has not missed. Has not missed as he has a two-point lead here. Here is number nine for Kevin Smets and Mike Kalinowski. Heroes and villains. In 2019's Hellboy, who plays Hellboy's adoptive father and founder of the BPR? I haven't seen it. Trevor. Tre Fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Trevor <coughs> Brutalhorn. I'll do I that know, again for I know it's, Trevor, I know it's John Hurd and we uh, again for him because I mess up. In 2019's Hellboy. Hellboy, who plays Hellboy's adoptive father and founder of the BPRD, Trevor Brubblehorn. Yeah, I don't remember. It's, it's John Hurt and uh, other ones. You got it. But um, yeah, I avoided this one. <laughs> I don't remember five. cast. So you did get four. the military no, vote no. issues in it. Mm. Two, one, pens down. We start with uh, Mike Kalinowski. I couldn't pull it. Can pull it and Ian McShane. Yes. Oh, Smets sees man. himself with a three-point lead and a potential perfect yeah, game with this question. Big. If he hits this, he's got himself a perfect game and will get a bonus. That's get right, and he has to go oh, yeah. one yeah, more that's category. The one we're in that category is a Patreon category. How about a big hand for Andy Schick, ladies Thank and you, gentlemen? Andy. Andy Schick. In the proverbial hizzy, Andy Schick, thank you for your patronage, Andy. He wanted the category of Harry Potter. Yeah. Little uh, British kid, he's got a thing on his head. <laughs> and the question, in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, which Horcrux did Harry, Ron, and Hermione find in the Lestrange vault under Gringotts? Um. Now, if Smets hits um. this... He's got himself a perfect round where only, only he will get the bonus here. That's right. And you just find yourself inching forward in this game yeah. and putting some separation between him and Callan. And Mike needs to hit this one to stay in the game here. Five. Mm. Four. No. Three. You got it. Two. No. One. How the Hufflepuff's cup? That's a goblet. Hufflepuff's cup. It's a cup. I'm not sure. See, that's why I'm like, I'm not sure. Hug, they look like goblins. Yes, yeah, also got it. got it. So Kevin sees himself right Sorry. now with a three-point totally lead, well. but he can yeah. extend that to four a five and a half. with yeah. this question. Now, Kevin, this oh, is just more, for you. More you than don't have to write it down. Let's... So this is just for you. Here you go. In the yeah. Hobbit trilogy, what are the what are the names of the dwarven brothers that are part Keely of Keely. Thorin's yeah. company? Keely and Felix. Even I know this. That is correct. <laughs> Kevin Smets. Four-point lead, perfect round number one. That's sees impressive. himself with a four-point lead over the champion going into round number two. That's impressive, yeah, that's Christian. The good. guy comes out like he's about to do calisthenics. Oh. You know, he's pumping himself up, and you wonder, can you settle down enough to write down the correct answer to movie trivia questions? Well, he proves <coughs> it. he's able to I do almost that. He can cut up with Mike. Hmm? So I almost cut up with Mike. Shannon came out there like, and not, uh, not it was a, oh, yeah. we were I tied. That. Yeah, I noticed time. that Shannon came out. Put a pin in that. Yeah, spend, Mike right, missed a couple of important points. Uh, let's perform the cheat. <laughs> Want to let everybody know the wheel for From the comfort of my own home. That is very. First rate Nate. No, I'm not saying like that. First rate Nate. Sponsoring it. 
His sponsored slices are Star Wars and Middle Earth. And we have another sponsored slice on the wheel, and that is Heroes and Villains. If you're a patron, you can actually sponsor a slice. Heroes and Villains, if that is spun and decided to be questions asked from, we will be the name of that patron. So now without I don't really have weaknesses when it comes to interview them. I just have categories that I'm better at than others. All right, there you go. As Ken says, the spin is in. Good, solid spin. The old war horse needs to hang in there for a few... Well, oh, just notice they, they're wearing doll face um, That's right. yeah. pins. And Mike yeah. also. It's very nice. Aww. Middle Earth. I'll take it. What do we got there? What's the category, gentlemen? Middle Earth. It's going to be rough. It's going to spin again. Yeah. It's going to spin again. Better be safe. Yeah, he is not the biggest fan of Middle Earth. So whatever Kevin hits some... here, he's got to take it. Some... That's right. So Ka uh, Kaiser will be telling us what it is right. here. Kaiser, the category Heroes is... Heroes and Villains. Heroes and Villains. All yeah. right, well, it is Heroes and Villains. And so now we're going to shout out big <coughs> John Johnson, everybody. John Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, John. Thank All you right. for your patronage, Johnson. John Johnson. <laughs> All right, five questions for Kevin Smetsk. In Heroes and Villains, five questions here for Heroes and Villains. All right, Kevin, here you go, five yep. questions. In Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, how did Dr. Jones Sr. claim to find out that Elsa she was talking asleep? asleep? I got this question in San Diego, so we should get another one. That, she talks in her sleep, but. Got, okay. That yeah, is great yeah, honest that 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 one one one. Thank you. All right. Great, okay. Thank you for being mm. honest. Great All line. Right, so now here is question Fringy, number one for you. Here, here's question one. Whose base do the Avengers lead an assault against in the opening scene Baron of Strucker. Avengers Age of Ultron? Baron Strucker. Yep. Yes, that's correct. You didn't even that's need to movie. listen to the movie. No, I already know. Question this. two. What is the name of the process that takes a pa that a pad Padawan must go through to become a Jedi Knight? Jedi Trials. Yes. That's two. All right. Wow. He's number three. Feeling it now. He didn't yep. need that freebie. No. What is the name of the Nero's Rom mm. of Nero's Romulan ship in the Narada. Star Trek? The Narada. Yes. Correct. Okay, that's number three, right? Two, Two more, more left. Okay. okay. Five questions, gentlemen. Five questions. This All is right. your fourth. Fourth. Dave Lazuski creates a sorry. Creates a page for people to contact his alter ego, Kickass, for help on what social media platform? MySpace. MySpace. Yes, for two more points. <laughs> All right. And your final question. Thank you, Tom. Final question. What Scottish actor plays Charlie, a marksman suffering from T Shit. PTSD in Wonder Woman? Oh. Ewan Brenner. Wow. Brenner. What's the final answer? B R E M N E R. Correct. Damn. All right. So that's the perfect round here. For the perfect goals. round there. That's right. That and, is putting and, the pressure and, and on. And may I say, quite that is good the strategy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that was, that was a good way to do it. Okay. So Kevin Smith sees himself now 21 to 7 over the champion. The champion will spin now. Mike, please. <coughs> this is a big spin right here. Yes, Christian. it is. You got to get a wheel. Yeah. Slice your comfortable. You know he's looking for DCEU. That's probably the big one. That's DCEU, right. he's right. he needs this. Grabs the wheel. This guy knows how to spin. He's been here before. Yeah, you can't lose anything. I asked a bunch of Star Trek questions, and he, and questions and he did he really well with that, so the ones with Star Trek, he shouldn't be uh, afraid. I'm really nervous. <laughs> I don't know what. Guy knows how to walk yeah, Mike is behind. He anyone? him to catch up? I don't know. What do we got here? MCU? Yeah. Mike, you spun? MCU. Stick with it? I was thinking. We should. He's looking at. Okay, so now. And now it's Chance and Shannon coming out. Who he's consulting with. Chance cannot go out. Chance, you cannot advise. Sticking with Sticking it. Sticking with okay. it. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's we'll see. All right. Sticking with MCU, which stands for Marvel Cinematic Universe. The question, first of five for two points, Mike. What is the name of the Ravager henchman that Rocket and the crew make fun of in Guardians of the Galaxy Chaser Phase. Volume 2? The stupidest fucking joke. Chaser Phase. Two points. Hit it so much. Stupidest joke. <laughs> it's drawn out way too long. All right, Mike, your next question for two more points. In Captain America Civil War, Yay. 
The iconic airport scene takes place at the Leipzig Halle Airport in which country? Germany. Germany. Leipzig. <laughs> Come on. Leipzig. Well, yeah, but what, what do you, if you say the, the city? I mean. Uh -huh. Germany. Two more points for my count. And again, they're not European. <laughs> no, so European geography might stumble them. <laughs> good mustard, good airport battles. Your third question, Mike, of five in this slate. In The Incredible Hulk, Bruce Banner's transformation is triggered whenever his heart rises above how 200. many beats per minute? I, with the last question, I Five. honestly expected them to ask for Leipzig. Three. Multiple choice. Is it A, 180, B, 200, C, 220, or D, 240? 200. Your Spence guess this one is dumb. 180? <clears throat> that is incorrect. 200. Deal, it is in fact 200. Well, that's the movie it's you hope you there. don't get during the MCU. So, Mike Steele, now it's you do. To 11, Christian. Now, Mike still has two questions remaining, so he can I cut the lead to seven points, which yeah. is pretty manageable, especially considering you have the betting round coming up, which could change a lot of points. <coughs> Mike needs to pick some points See, up right now. So, Mike, you yeah, have two yeah. questions remaining. Your penultimate question in the world of the MCU in Spider Man Homecoming. Ned discovers that Tony has placed a block on Peter's suit, limiting its capabilities. What is the name Psych of Wheels that protocol? protocol? Nah. Isn't it training wheels? Hmm? The baby monitor protocol. That is incorrect. Training wheels protocol. It is training, training wheels oh. protocol. Yeah. yeah, stop. Kevin That's takes a big two point lead. steal. So it's 24 <laughs> to Okay, now Mike, back to you for your last question in the world of the MCU. Two points, and it is. In Infinity War, what are the mindless creatures called that the Avengers and the Wakandians mm. battle? Shit. Um, um, those Chitauri? No. Outriders. Okay. Two That's points for Mike Callenhouse. So they Mike look like gets himself to 24 13. It's, it's Tanner Father. He's himself never down 11 movie, points so. here to the challenger, Kevin Smith. So no, now yeah, he gets the betting round. Mike, 13. I was shooting Mark. How does that go? Done. That is my name. <clears throat> you look at 24 to 13 right now. You got to wonder what the strategy is with the betting round. Because in the betting round, what happens is whoever's in the lead, this is Kevin Smith. can just bet zero. He's still in the wheel. Whatever category the wheel lands on. We're going to ask a question but, to the field in that category. If he gets the good category, category, why yeah, not? Yeah, then, then he won't. Is going to wager an amount of points. Like, that amount of points be as many but the, as three the thing is, like, if, if there's, like, a difficult yeah, category, like, quotes, heroes and villains, remember, something yeah. that could be anything, then he could bet zero. Mike has to bet three. If he loses three, it's not done yet. It could be It could be in betting round. It could be a knockout. All right, Kevin, at your ready, you may spin the wheel, sir. Here we go. Here's the spin. Let's see where it goes here. And Mike's part of me up. feels really bad for Mike, but another part really wants Matt to win this one just to. And have mm. Okay, that's a good category for Mike. Uh, uh, MCU. DCEU. DCEU. And... All right, DCEU. All right. All right, if. Uh, Mike I'll bet a point. Spence, if you Why not? Write down your points and just kind of flash them over. My protest for the C right there. Gotcha. Yeah. Right okay, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Think, as long as it's not Shazam right, or Aquaman, I haven't seen Here is I'm your much. question. This is DCEU. Once. Yes. All right, guys. <laughs> In Shazam. See? Who plays Freddie Freeman's adult superhero alter ego? <laughs> I never remember his name, so I'm not going to, yeah. <laughs> That's my Bill Paxton. <laughs> is it uh, Favreau? Freddy's. Favreau from the Thor sequels? I'm not sure. One, Zachary Lewis. Levy. Three. And you said? Adam Brody. Uh, that is correct. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking Freddy. Freddy, Freddy two points, yeah. Two points. Freddy, Freddy was the handicap. Mike, Mike picks up a point. Yeah, I, Mike picks up a point I thought it was me, because otherwise, now. I don't know. So this is big for Mike Kalinowski. Yeah. If Mike Kalinowski can pick up Mike some points here in the speed round, he finds himself right back in here. this thing. So it is 16, <laughs> but uh, if, if Smets gets final, excuse me, three, round, and it's a speed round, or, guys know how or it works. The competitors Mike have five misses questions worth one, point a one piece. of those three, it is a knockout. to answer the question, and 
If you answer it incorrect, lose a point. <laughs> Correct, get a point. All right, Mark, when you're ready. All right, gentlemen, uh, just to make sure that everybody's buzzers work, <coughs> because they're not currently on, we are going to vamp for a little bit, and everybody tell me where you're from. There's a fresh buzzer and a fresh buzzer. And I think we'd be remiss if we didn't get a hand from Mr. Alex Marzonia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll give props to all a good man right there. That after. round of applause oh, killed of just course. enough time. <clears throat> now, let's do a buzzer test real quick. So I'm going to ask Mike a question first. Mets, don't buzz in on this. Mike, this question's for you. Buzz in and then answer. Mike, what is the name of Kevin's manager? Trash mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We can accept trash. We can't see Mike's point. All right. No, because uh, it's behind the Kevin, belt. This question's for you. Buzz Just in and then lose. give me your answer. What was the last meal your mom made you for breakfast? Uh, eggs. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Barely. Barely. Yeah, yeah, but we'll yeah. accept it. <laughs> All right. So, gentlemen, All right, as soon so as I see I ask, your buzzer light up green, I'm going to say time your, mom your name. I'm going to say Mike <laughs> or I Kevin. As soon as I say your name, you have exactly two seconds to get that answer. And I live with them more than two seconds. Yeah. Correct. You do lose a point. <laughs> Christian, no, at your ready. Yeah, you got to look forward. You can't look at me. All right, here we go. Question one. What is the name of Bilbo's home? Back end. Back end. Yes. One point. <laughs> Hold on. In the Star Trek franchise, what is Dr. McCoy's nickname? Mike Bones. Yes. He's good at speed round. Yeah, he is. Okay, number two. Not gonna help him. But... In the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, what is the charm that unlocks Lock Knight? Aloha Mora. Aloha Mora. Aloha Mora. Aloha Mora. Yes. Aloha Mora. Yes. Aloha Mora, yes. <laughs> All right. Number four. Okay. Number four. What is the weapon of choice for the Ninja Turtle, Raphael? Sai. Yes. If he gets and this, it's a knockout. For your last one. Uh, Christian? Yeah. Big point here. Big point. Correct. So, if Kevin Smets hits this, and misses. Mike does not. Or if Mike misses this. No, Mike misses this. Kevin Smets will win the title via knockout. Here is the question. Who dismisses Obi-Wan Kenobi as... An old fossil. Kevin. Han Solo. Congratulations. Oh my god. Kevin Smith has won the title. He's won the title. Uh, Kevin is the champion. Carnage. And he has finally done it. I am Another so happy for Kevin and I feel good for my and yes. he is now with <clears throat> Jen <throat> Sturger. Jen, take it away. Fucking got it. Kevin, that was an incredible game. How are you feeling after this? You've had such a crazy ride this season. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I'm speechless. Uh, this was a lot of hard work uh, to get here. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, you got to take a fall and you got to learn how to get up. And so, um, I didn't. I didn't think it was going to go this way um, so quickly. Uh, you know, he can say that I uh, I effed up. There's children in the audience, but he can say that I effed up. But uh, you know what? Uh, Matt, much respect for him. He had a hell of a ride this week, this year. Um, at the end of his ride. Um, but, you know, I noticed that I'm hearing you guys chanting, Smasher, Smasher, Smasher. And I'm wondering, where were you guys in June, huh? <laughs> where were you guys? <laughs> after really? Smats, I've always supported you. You know that. Now, there I've are always some rider guys out there, and you know But I you also are. like Mike. But for the rest of you, for the rest of you, I didn't do this for you to quote Kalinowski who said it. I did it for Kaiser. I did it for the dungeon and for my boys in the back. And let me tell you something. You guys online all summer long saying, don't tell Peter, don't tell Peter this, don't tell Peter that. Well, don't tell Peter I just became the IG champion. <laughs> yes. Bullseye. 
Arthur, I gotta hand it to you. You're having a hell of a season. You can say hell, right? Okay. You can say sure. Hockey sticks. Thank you so he much. Hell. <laughs> I'm impressed you know how to spell. How did you prepare him for this? I mean, this taking on Mike Kalinowski. I mean, <laughs> You're going up against one of the greatest uh, competitors that ever played this sport, hands down. Everybody knows that. And you gotta give you gotta give KO props. Yeah. You got to. That said, that said, I don't like to lose. I don't like to get beat, and I don't like to get shown up anywhere. Not at a Burger King drive through not here in Los Angeles, nowhere. Sometimes they mess up my order, Jen. <laughs> so what I'm saying is this. I locked this kid up. I threw away the key. I got real. We brought in sparring partners, and I'd like to thank the hitman, Brandon Hanna, for coming in and being the smashers being a Smashers sparring partner. I'd like to thank Brianne Chandler in the front office. I'd like to thank Rachel. You have an office in the dungeon? We got a front office. It's a cl <coughs> renovated closet. We love you, Brianne. I'd like to thank Rachel Cushing for all her wisdom, the crusher. I'd like to thank Zipper and Oyama for being the greatest stable mates anybody could ask for. And you watch in 2020 when this draft goes down and I keep the smasher and I keep prime time and we run right through the four horsemen, Gucci exchange, whatever the hell he's calling himself now. <laughs> You're gonna see what's up in 2020. It's the dungeons time, baby. And we did do this for us. You don't have to cheer for us. You don't have to boo us. We don't care. We didn't come here to make friends. I told you that since day one. So go home because you got a hell of a show. Well, wait a minute, there's one more match. <laughs> there's one more match, yeah. I was about to say, we're going to have to realize this again. That winning this means you may have some tough competition come January. I'm very well liked in New York. <laughs> you do well look like you. You're, you're talking well -liked. about <coughs> Mark Knopic. Last year when I auditioned and Christian sent me pack into the fan leagues, Mara had the rise of stardom. That could have been me. And so for me, in New York, I cannot wait to face her to finally silence everyone that didn't let me in the league last year and to show Christian that maybe Mara was your golden girl last year, but I'm your golden boy this year and next year and every year. Golden boy. <laughs> well, yeah, please do. Well, yeah, let's think. Uh, it's going to be the battle of the All rising right, stars. Yep. Jen, as you see there, oh, Kevin the Smasher Smets in a decisive the best. victory. Yeah, Mar Mara also... Ken Knapsack oh. and Grace Hancock yeah. made their way to the what front. Won the belt in her first year. Yeah, Mike's not going to speak. Ken, always a pleasure. No. Uh, sorry, it's under these circumstances. I'm guessing Mike's not going to be joining you. No, not right now. We're trying to figure it out. We're a house uh, a little bruised, a little, little freaked out, a little upset. Um, mm. It's usually this point that I will transition and, and speak words of respect of our opponents and you know, outside of Kaiser trying to put everyone in here in a Hyundai at a low safe price, I, I know Kev Smets, and I do respect Kev Smets, and I know what he, what he did to get in this league. I know how hard he worked. I know he, he was rejected, and he came back from that to this point here today. It's a big moment for him, but corruption, the league, uh, our future, it's a little cloudy right now. I, I feel maybe Mike got distracted Recently, I think there was a potential power struggle that he was fueling, and, and we're going to work on that. But nothing a good team meeting and some screaming and <laughs> finger pointing, and then you kind of hug it all out, you know? you know? Sounds like my house at Thanksgiving. Uh, how oh, is Cody? The important um, thing is that Grace will be able to keep Mike in chance. That was tough. It was really tough, Jen. We're not going to lie. Where do you guys go from here? You know, obviously with the draft coming up, there's going to be a lot of changes. You're not going to be a manager anymore. Grace, I, I guess the question is for you. Like, where do you even start to rebuild? I mean, look, I think I've proved year after year the Lioness is always paying attention. I am always focused. I have so many things going on behind the scenes that nobody gets to see. So we're always going to recover. I'm always going to come back from this. Uh, Mike Kalinowski doesn't have any comments for this time, but we've been talking for a little bit. And oh, wait, he's back. No. Mike. Okay. Good. Look, we've been talking for a bit, and we started off, we were great. But where have you guys been? You haven't been here for us, so Mike and I, we got two words for you. You're done. We're finding a new manager. You find your own clients. 
We're out. Wow. Damn. Well, there go any chances that Kevin Grace had as manager of the year. <laughs> Kaiser does. <laughs> well, You're a tasty piece Jen of pie. Jen Sturger, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and boy, what a any match we just had. Just as chaotic yeah. behind the scenes as it is on this stage and as it is out there. Everybody watching on the live stream, everybody here. And we have come to that moment in the... All right, so that's where we call it. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, this is going to be the single title match, but my God, uh, that was a crazy match. Um, it, like, it, it feels better than the result shows because the result is knockout, but it was, it was still a good match, I think. Yeah. Mostly because I was just, I was just so impressed by Smith's. Yes. Like his performance, like that's the thing. Uh, I do feel like Mike got a little flustered by the bright lights, by the situation going on, by his opponent, and that got to him. And therefore, he missed questions that I think he should have known. Um, and Kevin was just a machine. Um, yeah. About Mike, I think he. He did it to himself with the speech because when you build yourself up like that, you build your own pressure on yourself. Yeah. Whenever he's more humble and he's like, I'm here to do the thing. Yeah. He does the thing. But when he starts calling everyone cheap, going after his competitors, you really get in your own head and you're yeah. like, I need to do this. And that's when you fail. And that's when you fail. So uh, I think that's, that's the, that's the reason, but I'm very happy for, for Kevin because he's a yeah. great friend of Dedicated to Art. He is. <laughs> and uh, I hope he did tomorrow. That's, that's all I have to say about that. Yeah. Uh, look, I will say this right now. Uh, I, Mara, I like her, but yeah. I am rooting for Smets in that match. Smets, I love you, and I want you to keep that belt for a while because um, I know how, how good you are and how much it means to you. Um, as a friend of the channel, of course. So, yeah. Uh, that's, I think, all we can say about this match. Uh, I am... Oh, yeah. And I'm, in, I'm interested to see what will happen to Corruption. Because I do think Corruption will be protected by the fact that they're one of the top teams. But then another manager could pick them. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. <clears throat> so, with that said, guys. One more video after this. Until then, take care.